welcome to this test drive video for the Honda CRV. Now the CRV is the world's best selling SUV and this particular version that we have here is hybrid. Now this is really important to us because by 2022 we want all of our mainstream vehicles to be electrified. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, so now we're in. It's a really easy car to have got into in the first place. So I'm now greeted with the premium leather seating, which gives me a really nice high driving position to give really good visibility out of the car. So to actually start the car to get going, all we need to do is press the button just by my right knee, which will allow the car to be in ready mode. Now to select drive, it's really easy because we've gone away from a traditional stick change to buttons so this frees up loads of space for us and it's really easy once we press d to actually then drive away now my foot is still on the foot brake and what i would need to do is take the parking brake off now of course to, to drive away now two ways i can do that i can actually push the parking brake down drive off and that's it very very easy and when we come to stop we can pull it back on again however even better for me at the start of my journey i'll press brake hold and what that will do for me is every time I want to uh, pull away, it takes the parking brake off for me. And when I come to a standstill, it actually applies the brakes for me, so I don't need to touch that on the entire journey. So, let's go for a drive. In front of me, I have a really clear digital display. So at a glance, I can see my speed, and underneath that I have various sections that I can scroll through. At the moment, I've got my, my drive mode on, so I can see at the minute I'm in EV mode. It's also regenerating the, uh, the battery for me now. Accelerate a little bit, and we've gone into hybrid mode now. And if we were cruising, you'd see that go into engine mode. Just by my right knee, I've got a button uh, for head up display. So what that's going to do for me is put up this little screen and we're going to project onto that key bits of information so I can keep my attention on the road and my eyes straight in front of me. Now on the steering wheel I can scroll through different pages of information. At the moment we have a compass up. Um, we can actually use this button here to go through my charge or power indicator. We've got just the speed we can have the adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist information on there as well or traffic sign recognition a really useful feature to have to give us nice clear safe vision if we want to at any point the same button just press and hold will actually send that away and the dust cover will come over on the dashboard as well the crv we're in today is the hybrid version now, what we have under the bonnet is a petrol engine and we have two electric motors. One as a generator attached to the actual petrol engine itself and we have a separate one which is the drive motor which powers the road wheels. So this gives us three drive modes. We have EV mode or electric vehicle mode whereby the high voltage battery at the back of the vehicle is supplying power to the electric drive motor to drive the road wheels, thereby creating no tailpipe emissions. We also have hybrid mode. This is where the petrol engine is running. That is spinning the generator to create electricity. And then what that will do for us is allow the high voltage battery at the back to power the drive motor. We also have engine mode. This is where the petrol engine is running and we lock up together the drive motor and the generator. Thereby, the drive motor is still powering the road wheels, but driven from the petrol engine, thereby giving us the option for best usability of the engine and best usability of the electric motors for any given circumstance. Right in the centre of the car, we have our Connect screen. This is for our infotainment system, where we can have things from Bluetooth connections for our phone, then allowing me to use steering wheel controls, keeping me safe and also legal on the road, making and receiving those phone calls. We have other information as well, like audio, so we can choose music from a USB device, digital radio or FM, whatever our choice is, there are many we can go for there. Also, this particular CRV has the Garmin navigation app pre-installed, so my navigation is taken care of there 
but I also have the ability, if I wanted to, to use Google Maps. So for instance, if I had an Android phone, I can use Android Auto or uh, CarPlay for my Apple device, and I could use my Apple Maps, Google Maps, or even Waze if I wanted to. As you can see, it's an absolutely fantastic day today. So this feature I'm not going to need at the moment, but it is the UK, you never know when things are going to change. So this car has auto uh, lights. Now the lights are full LED, front and back on this vehicle. And of course, the auto system will put them on for me when needed, and it can even go to full beam when it's advisable to do so, and pop it back down to dip beam when it needs to as well. But added to that, we have the auto wipers function. So using the sensor on the screen, it's going to detect that. And as soon as it has the, uh, the, the moisture on the screen, the wipers are going to start cleaning the screen for me. And then I can fine tune the adjustment of the, uh, the right hand stalk to uh, more or less sensitivity. Our rear view mirror on the car is actually auto dimming. So it is going to sense if we're going to get any glare from vehicles headlights behind and it will automatically dim the view that we're going to get so that we don't get any glare, again, keeping us safer on the road. All CRVs come as standard with Honda Sensing. Now this is an incredible suite of safety features and driver assistance features, which are gonna help you to keep safe and also reduce your fatigue from driving. So again, helping to keep you safe. Now, if we take just one of those to uh, expand on a little. We have a feature called Cross Traffic Monitor. This is particularly useful when reversing out of a parking space because the radars at the back of the vehicle are actually looking really quite far afield to see if there's a vehicle that's going to be you know, crossing your path behind the vehicle and it will give you little warnings in the, uh, the connect system so we get an audible notification and also a couple of orange arrows in the direction that the vehicle is actually approaching from so that we can wait to left past and then safely reverse out of our spot. Forward collision warning, it'll give us a warning about a collision in front of us, again based on our closing speed. We have blind spot information, it'll give us information when somebody's in our blind spot. All of these features just add up to making it one of the safest SUVs out there. With 184 PS and 315 Newton meters of torque, this CRV has that instant kind of acceleration that you'd expect from a vehicle driven by electric motors. Thanks to the incredible hybrid system we have in this vehicle, the combined miles per gallon figure for this car is 40.9. Now, if you're going to be doing more sort of urban driving, sort of stop start town journeys, you're easily going to see over 50 to the gallon. CRV is available in two wheel drive and all wheel drive options. So if fuel economy is your ultimate concern with CRV, we have the two wheel drive version. If you want that extra peace of mind to know that pretty much whatever the conditions, rain, snow, mud, we're going to get the best available traction when our CRV can distribute power not only to the front, but also to the rear wheels at the same time. So just to the left hand side of the, the drive select buttons in the centre console, we have three additional buttons. They are the Sport, the Econ and also EV buttons. So if we work through those, right at the top we have the sport button. So to turn it on or off is just a simple press of that button. When it's engaged, it will actually sharpen the throttle response for us, thereby giving us a more sporty drive. On the Econ button, when we press that one, it kind of does the reverse. So it will soften the throttle response. What that means to me as a driver is that I need to use more movement on my accelerator pedal to get the same amount of acceleration thereby kind of coaching me to drive more economically. What it will also do though, it will actually make my climate control and also my cruise control work more fuel efficiently. Finally, the EV button, when the conditions are suitable, so if we have um, state of charge of the battery and the, the load on the accelerator uh, being appropriate, we can press the EV button and it will put us into a full electric vehicle mode. Again, no tailpipe emissions whatsoever. So 
thank you for joining me on this test drive of the Honda CRV. And hopefully now you can see why it is globally the best selling SUV. Now it's also been market leader since we introduced this model in 1997. And if you'd like to take a test drive yourself so you can experience this incredible vehicle, please contact your local dealer. We'll be delighted to book you in for an appointment. So thank you very much indeed for watching.